now coming to evaluation of murmur it is not easy to differentiate benign and uh, malignant murmur based on history and physical examination murmur it can be systolic diastolic or continuous in systolic it can be between grade 1 and 2 or between grade 3 to 6 in grade 1 and 2 if it is asymptomatic and there is no associated finding no further evaluation is required however if patient is between grade 3 to 6 or a diastolic or a continuous murmur and there is associated clinical symptom imaging that is echocardiographic of the heart should be done now coming to individual murmur in aortic stenosis it is well heard on the second parasternal interspace and the timing is mid systolic and the murmur is a crescendo decrescendo murmur which radiates to carotid with or without third and fourth heart sound valsalva maneuver and sustain and grip decrease the intensity of the murmur the second heart sound can be muffled and there is an ejection click now coming to aortic insufficiency murmur it is well heard in the third and fourth parasternal interspace murmur timing is early diastolic or holo diastolic it is a decrescendo murmur and it can be blowing high pitch which radiates to the carotid there can be an austin flint flow murmur at the apex squatting hand grip exercise and leaning forward increase the intensity of the murmur coming to mitral stenosis murmur the location is usually in the apex the murmur is usually mid diastolic the other description includes opening snap pre systolic extenuation and a low s1 this low bridge rough lumbling murmur radiates to axilla squatting and hand grip increases the intensity of the murmur coming to mitral regurgitation it is well heard in the apex it is a pan systolic murmur it is high pitch blowing radiating to axilla and there can be a loud s3 standing decreases the intensity of the murmur and squatting and hand grip increases the intensity of the murmur coming to mitral valve prolapse here the location is again apex the timing is late systolic it is a crescendo mid systolic click and the maneuvers can alter the mitral valve prolapse nicely in standing and valsalva maneuver the intensity of the murmur is increased but in squatting the murmur intensity is decreased coming to hocm murmur it is well heard in the apex and lower left sternal border the timing is mid systolic murmur they can be s4 and s2 can be single valsalva maneuver and standing increases the intensity of the murmur squatting passive leg rising and hand grip decreases the intensity of the murmur 